What is up fellow gamers, welcome back to I Wanna Be The Boshi on Raid Mode. For the Mega Man world, practice is necessary because the last part will be this good level design area and it looks incredibly hard and it is incredibly hard and I'm going to show you how I do these intricate jumps. So for the first hard jump you can jump very high and you're, you won't die because of the spikes above. Uh, so just make a high jump and as soon as you hit this line here where I'm jumping at, that's when you have to double jump. So it should be like this and use this double jump to get over the spike. This is pretty easy and if you practice enough you shouldn't die here. For this next jump what I do is I stand on this middle dot on this spike and I just jump into the hole. Works most of the time. If you really stand on this spot it should work. Here fall immediately after you are, or if you're in the middle of these two spikes, just hold left and you should be safe. Here you have to do a very tight jump, but if you practice enough, you shouldn't die too often here. And here I always weave out, so I the, the first uh, jump to do can kill you a few times, this is pretty hard. But for the next ones you can't really die on the spike on the right side, so you can go very far out. The only thing that can really kill you are the spikes you're standing on. So maybe one more time, just like that. And for the last jump, you can double jump over and then weave between these two spikes, but that is really hard. So what I do is I go to the far left side and I jump off from more or less the last pixel and I single jump over these two spikes. And then I use my double jump so that this last part is easier. And then here maybe practice so that you don't die here, that would be horrible on raid mode. And jump over this spike pyramid. And that would be world 7 on raid mode. One more time. If you practice this, I mean I'll accept these deaths, this is a pretty hard part. And as long as you don't die here, you're good to go. On raid mode you do get saves at the beginning, as you can see these saves on the right side for the secret item. So I can show you my attempts for this part. How I do it is I double jump just before hitting the platform. That combines your upward speed with that of the platform and you can get over these gaps. Here I double jump for, the, for this first one, double jump here and then double jump through this gap. That last jump is the only really hard part. This may take a while and afterwards I will show you my first attempt and I should get to the good level design part on my first attempt. Everything until that is pretty simple. That was close, that was almost done correctly. And I don't hold down jump on the last one so that I don't hit the spikes on the top. And you do have to time it at the beginning on the first jump. You can't just rely on getting launched up a lot higher. There we go. And here no platforms will uh, try to kill you because you didn't save and restart. And I will restart here. On raid mode, what I, how I do this world is I know how everything is timed. Even if I play in hard on mode or any other lower difficulty, what I do is I wouldn't save and I wouldn't restart. I would just do it in one go because I know, as I've said, how everything works. And if every every single run is the same, and I know how fast I should go through everything. So if you're playing on raid mode, you can take this run for an example and just do it exactly how I do it, and it should be the same. Now wait for the green robot, and here you have to be careful, you should time it correctly, or this next part will be pretty hard. And then use the jump replenishers to stay alive. And we can already see the sign of good level design. few lasers to go through, 
They will take my time, I don't want to die here. And now stay under the third spike and you will be safe. And for the last part, jump down here to the left onto the platform and ride it until you get to the left side. And there are a few intricate jumps, like this one, so you have to be careful. But if you do it a few times if you practice, this isn't really hard anymore. And here you have to double jump under these spikes, or not double jump, but use your second jump. And here, wait until there's an opening, and there we go. Okay, <laughs> that is... I'm not even going to comment on that, that was just embarrassing. Back at good level design. Didn't die there at least. That <laughs> that was really embarrassing last attempt. Do that. Very good. Stay on the spot and fall through. Third attempt. That is not acceptable. Why do I die there? That's like the easiest part. <sighs> I really have to take my time with every single jump. I can't rush anything. Have to practice for every single thing. There we go. That's good. And here I won't jump onto this. I will just take a running start and do it like that. It's easier for me here. Damn it. It's really annoying how easy this world is, of course, up to the good level design area. It's a really evil combination because you practice for the spike part, but because this world has this easy beginning, you just forget everything you've practiced and you don't focus on uh, good level design anymore. You just focus on you will have to redo this world and even though it's not hard at all so you're not really redoing anything you just have to go through it it's tedious but just the thought of having to redo everything makes you so nervous in your last few minutes of your attempt which can so easily mess you up It really is a perfectly evil combination that works, sadly. And as soon as I start rushing, that's when I die, so I have to take my time. Yes, that... this is amazing. Finally, like I'm not even really happy because it took so long. God, that was such a pain to do. Your reward for beating this world is a pretty fun boss fight. Now his first few attacks will be up here, and after this one the platform will go away, and you will fall down to these smaller platforms, and the whole fight will take place here. His, most of his attacks are pretty easy to avoid and are pretty straightforward, but there's one attack in particular, this one. It's pretty hard to avoid because the blood droplets are extremely fast and random, and of course he uses this attack quite often.
that will have to deal as much damage as possible. Especially with the green ball, I have to find a better way to deal more damage, because as you can see, the boss has an insane amount of health. So we'll have to go through his whole phase a few times, and his last attack, he turns into the centaur, just jump off when he kicks. Now he will redo all of his attacks again. Okay, this is looking pretty good. He only has a little bit of health left. I should be able to beat him now. And if I don't make any mistakes, there we go. Now, shoot him once and...